All right, guys, how's it going? So it's a Saturday afternoon, and I'm reading some of the YouTube comments, and there's a user asking, could you please talk a little bit more regarding the graph editor? So I'm going to show you how you can actually paste flip keyframes. Basic stuff, to be honest. So if you don't have the graph editor, you can add in a new workspace, go to General, Graph Editor. Now, I'll enable Auto Keyframe here, and I'll move the cube backwards on the y-axis, and I'll move it back something like minus 5 metres. And on frame 60, I'll move it 5 metres in the positive axis. So we get this epic animation. Check this out. <laughs> so I'll quickly jump into the graph editor. And I'll drop down the object transform. Now, I don't necessarily need all these channels at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll press B and I'll do a box select. And I'll just quickly delete them. Also don't need the X channel. So we're just working on the Y channel for now. Now what I can do here is, I can actually select the keyframes, right click, I'll copy them, and I'll jump to frame 20. I'll right click again, and I'll paste flipped. Now you can see what it's doing, it's actually doing a wave sign. So when I hit play, the animation goes from epic to absolutely outstanding. And we get this basic motion, pretty basic stuff, it kind of oscillates. But what I can do is I can grab these two keyframes, right click, interpolation mode, and I'll make it bounce. And you can see in the graph editor, we get this kind of bounce function. So when I play it back, check out what I get. And that's pretty much how you can paste flipped keyframes. It comes in handy, especially when you're doing something like this. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates, you know what to do. Peace.